What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode number 13 in the house. We have another fan mail package right here. We have three eBay packages right here. And in the back, we have two figures from Amazon. Um, very excited to pick all these figures up. I have no idea what is in the fan mail package right here, but it looks like it's a good one. I mean, we have a big box here, so I'm very excited for that. The man paid $13 in shipping to ship it out here, so I am very blessed to have that. But let's go ahead and get straight into these packages. Well, I guess we'll start off first with these three because I believe that all three are the same person. So I guess we're going to compare all three figures because it's uh, for a part of a custom that I'm working on currently. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, guys, so these first three packages are from eBay, like I stated in the intro. Um, these are all three the same person, I believe. Um, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty much about 90% sure that these are all the same person. Whoopsies. But, um, yeah, these are all three, uh, three, I think they're all Jax figures, um, or from a different company. They're definitely not Mattel, um, but you guys will see what they are when I get this open. I needed these for the heads. These uh, these figures I'm getting the heads off of, so that's the main important part. But we have bubble wrap here. Some yellow bubble wrap, it looks like, right there that's a little stuck. But anyways, the reveal right here. And you guys see that it is a Kurt Angle. So this is a, uh, I believe this is a Deluxe Aggression, I believe, Kurt Angle figure right here. And I'm going to use this head scan. You know, Deluxe Aggression figures are really good with Mattel Elite size. They actually fit very well. And I've actually seen this head used on a custom Kurt Angle before. So I picked up this to uh, use the head. Um, and I picked up three different Jack's Kurt Angles because I wanted to see which head would fit best. So I guess we will open the next package and see um, which one we like better. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, we're working on package number two. Kurt Angle number two coming up. Oh, my God, I almost sliced my thumb off. But uh, opening this right up, you will see his red boot sticking out right there. And this is a Jax Kurt Angle. So this is a pretty early Kurt Angle figure from Jax. And not as well made as that one back there, as you see. But here we have the second Kurt Angle, and it is this grimacing head scan. So now we have two different Kurt Angle head scans to choose from. Um, right now, I am definitely feeling the one on the right, I think, a little bit more. Um, this one seems a bit pale, in my opinion, but I think with a repaint, I think somebody could touch it up nice. But there we go. That is the second one. Um, this figure is definitely not as well made. Like, if you look at the bodies, this one has a lot more articulation, a lot more detail, and this one's just plain whatever. But, uh, yeah, let's move on to Kurt Angle number three. All right, guys, now we have Kurt Angle number three on its way out of the packaging. And got to go ahead and cut this up, make sure we don't slice the thumb off this time. Um, yeah, not, not doing anything right here. All right, so we finally got the Degum thing open, and it slides right out. And look at that. We have three different Kurt Angles to choose from now. So now we have this head, and this is a Kurt Angle from TNA. This is from his TNA days. That one may actually also be, but um, you see here it comes with the TNA Championship. I don't even know what belt that is. If you're familiar with TNA or um, anything like that, I guess you can let me know what belt this is supposed to be, if I can get it off Kurt Angle. He doesn't want to give up his championship right here, but now he got it off right there. If anybody can tell me what um, championship that is supposed to be, um, leave it down in the comment section below, but yeah, I, me and BEW were a little worried about this figure if the head would be too big, and now that I've seen it, it kind of does look too big. I will definitely try it out on the figure. It does have a little bit of head damage, but I do like the lightness of this Kurt Angle. Um, I think it favors him a lot in the head, but it will definitely need a head repaint if we do go with this head scan, but again, a nice overall figure. Both of these figures were obviously made by the same company, and they do look very well compared to the Jax one back there. Um, and these may be jacks too, but this is definitely more modern than the uh, one in the back here. But I am definitely liking this one a lot better. You see the head size there. Um, I think this one is definitely more in scale with Mattel, but I guess we will see. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, what this head scan looks like on my uh, custom body that I'm going to be using for the custom Kurt Angle Elite. 
All right, guys, so here we have the Jax head skin on my custom body that I was going to use, and I think that it may be just a tad too big. So I think this one on the left right here, over there, that one right there, I think that one would literally swallow it and look like a bobblehead. It doesn't look too, too bad from certain angles. Um, I really feel like the biggest thing with it is that it needs to sit up higher. I think that um, I've seen this head scan on a uh, Triple H torso, um, Kurt Angle Elite Custom, and it looked a lot better in my opinion. I think it, it fit well because I think the torso was a lot more proportionate to the head scan, but I don't think this is too, too bad. Uh, maybe me and BEW can work out something where the head can sit higher and it'll look a lot better. But um, yeah, let's move on to the next package on this episode. All right, guys, this next package comes from Amazon, you know, the best place for uh, free shipping figures besides walkout wear. So um, I actually saw this pop up on my uh, Amazon account the other day. Um, two really good elites came up for like literally $12 shipped a piece. And I was like, there's no freaking way in the world I'm going to let this deal pass up. So I went ahead and bought both of them. Um, so that pops there. And then pops there, open it on up, and we have two elite figures mock right here, and I'm going to go ahead and move this box out of the way, and boom, we have the Elite 52 Seth Rollins and the Elite 51 AJ Styles, so the reason I picked these up again, um, I wanted to uh, make sure I picked these up because they were $12 shipped, who's not going to take $12 shipped great elite figures of Seth Rollins and AJ Styles? I mean, anytime you get a great um, elite AJ, anytime an elite AJ Styles figure pops up for less than, you know, twenty dollars shipped, you take it. And stupid Toys R Us is taking forever with my network spotlight. So glad to pick up another Elite 51 AJ Styles. I make this like my third one. The rest of them have all been traded. I think I'll finally keep this one. And then I already had an Elite 52 Seth, but you know, Seth is always good for parts and other Seth attire. So very excited for that. We get another WWE Championship. So so, uh, so excited for that. But now we can move on to the last package, which is the fan mail. All right, guys, here we go. Last package on this episode of My Damn Halls. We have a fan mail package right here. As you see, T. White is because... Um, they shipped it to my school, so they had to put my name on there, so they knew who to give it to, so that's great. But um, a guy hit me up in my email, and he said, I have some figures that I want to send you for some fan mail, and I have no idea what is he going to send here. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Um, yeah, let's just split it down the seam right here. But he said that, um, he, said that uh, he wanted to send me a few figures here, um, so I'm very excited to see what he put in here. Um, it's a big box, so who really knows? Um, but we have a baggie right here, it seems. So we have a bag. I'll get the box out of the way right here. But um, no stuffing needed, but I guess he wrapped it up pretty good here. But as we open the bag here, oh my goodness gracious. The first figure we have right here is the freaking Elite Goldberg that came with the main event uh, ring. And we have quite a few figures in here. And oh my good God. Guys, oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. We have we have four. We have four. This You see here, we have four main event Goldberg Elites right here. I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I, I have to stop right now. What else could he have put in the bag here? No, he didn't. He didn't do this. He freaking put... Oh my good God almighty. The NXT Tag Team Champions American Alpha TNF Series 3 from Walmart. Thank you so much to Zach. Zach from Ohio is... Oh my God. Look at these figures. This man just sent us some of the rarest figures out right now. He sent us American Alpha, which I haven't found yet. I haven't even been able to find these guys. So we have to get these guys out of the bag. we got to take a closer look at these. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Guys, I can't even fathom right now. Thank you so much to Zach from Ohio. My God, what a freaking subscriber. Are you serious? He sent me four. Not one, not two, not three. He sent me four main event Elite Goldbergs. First time in the line, Goldberg Elites. I have four of them now. How, how does that even happen? Like, what? And then he sends me American Alpha. These beautiful American Alpha Elites right here. We even have the NXT Tag Titles. He even threw in the Tag Titles. By God. Like, I haven't even seen these guys in stores. I've been looking everywhere for them. I haven't even seen Goldberg in the freaking Toys R Us, let alone spend the $100 on the ring and the Goldberg Elite. Like, my God, they're flawed. They look amazing. 
And I have just, I am just blown away right now. Thank you so much. This is why my fans are the best. This is why you guys are just amazing. I love you guys so. This is, this blows my mind. I, I can't even speak right now. Thank you so very much to Zach from Ohio. These guys just look amazing. Everything, the attires, just everything about them looks so incredible. Um, what an epic My Name Halls episode. My God, like, what do you even say? Like, I can't, I can't even, he will definitely, Zach, you're getting a care package from My Damn Toys. Um, definitely, you're getting a personal letter from My Damn Toys. My God, what a free, like, I can't even, like, this is just, it, this is amazing. I may have to do a giveaway for one of the Goldbergs. I, I have to, like, I gotta give back to the community, to my fans, I gotta give back to them. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, leave a comment on what you think about this haul we got here today. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Just, my God, can't even believe it.